Welcome to Mackay Plan, the world's leading subsea cable planning software. This video will demonstrate how to create a route position list or cable path in PlanView. The RPL we will be creating must follow the list of criteria on the right-hand side of the screen. The criteria will determine five different features of the RPL. Those are the alter courses, slack, cable transitions, repeaters, and cable burial. We will start creating the RPL by addressing the alter course related criteria first, because the rest of the criteria will be affected by the alter courses. To begin, we add a new path to the project. To start the path at the correct coordinates, follow the coordinate display. It is difficult to match exactly, but do not worry as we can fix the exact position later. Although we are focusing on alter courses first, it is easiest to set the slack now as we start creating our RPL. We will address cable type later as well. Using the bathymetric contours and scale bar in the bottom left corner of plan view, we can set alter courses that roughly match the criteria. We are using the coordinate display again to match the landing point as close as possible. To change these points to match the criteria exactly, we can right-click on the point to access the Point Properties window to adjust their lat-lon position. Once it is corrected, hitting Apply will set the change. This process is repeated for the end point. Next, we will use the Profile View window to check that we have met the slope criterion and for assistance with the existing cable's proximity criterion. To view the slope versus KP graph, check the box in the Properties window. From this graph, we can see that along our RPL, the slope never exceeds 6 degrees, which indicates slope changes well under our limit. From the depth versus KP graph, we can see that the deepest depth of our cable route is 2,500 meters. We will need to remember this for a later step. Now we will check that the angle at which our cable path and existing cables cross is no less than 75 degrees using the measuring tool. To use the tool, click the point at which they cross and extend the legs in the direction of each cable. The value of the angle will display next to the vertex. Crossing angle may also be calculated using the path crossings tool, which we will use later in this video. Next, we will create a buffer zone around our path to ensure it is not too close to other existing cables. Select constant distance from feature and change the value to 22,500 meters, which is 20 kilometers plus 100% of the maximum water depth, which we read from the profile view window. Select buffer around route, so the buffer is created along the whole path. Then click add to make it appear in plan view. Check that no existing cables enter your buffer zone with the exception of the beginning and end of the RPL where it is unavoidable. If there are existing cables within your buffer zone, use the path editing tools to move your alter courses. Use the measure tool to check angles again as needed. Now we will check that our slack criterion is met. To keep things simple, we will check that the bottom slack value for the entire path is set to 2%. 
We will use the path point editor to check that our first point is a slack change point with a bottom slack value of 2% and that none of the other points are slack change points.